good day my wonderful people welcome back to the channel this is yuglo fashion and thank you so much for stopping by today's tutorial will be a female jacket blouse so please stay to the end enjoy the tutorial like and share the video as well and if you have any question you can put in the comment section Thank you and remain blessed. This is the Kampala fabric I will be using. I will be combining the two together. So first of all, I will be using this multicolored one for the, the down part of the blouse. So the length I am working with is 25 and the half so length the measurement is 17. So the is 8 so and I would add 1 inch measurement. to it to make 9. So mine started at the half length. Yours can start at the underboss just like the one in the thumbnail or you can replicate mine exactly. So if it's going to start from the one in the thumbnail, you are starting like an inch after your underboss. So now after chucking where the eight inches end so i went around i picked i placed my tape at the peak here and i chucked it around so whatever i have at the circumference there must be the same with my half length so the half length is 31 divided by two that's divided by four rather so and i added seam allowance to it so for this i'm cutting the front first even though the front and the back we have the same size we have there's no zipper allowance added to this because there's no zipper at the, at the back the zipper is at the side and it's an invisible zip so this is front So I cut it out. It's not really if it's not really flay like that. It's just let me see like 90 degree, not 360 no 180. You can see the way I just did it. So I went ahead to cut the um, back as well. So for this now I'll be cutting the the upper body. This, which is the shoulder to the half length so first of all i measured the nipple point which is 11 inches the underboss which is 40.5 and the half length is 17 inches so plus half inches plus half inch that's 70.5 and here the shoulder is 14 inches divided by two at the nipple point the nipple circumference is is 38 divided by two that's 9.5 inches at the half length is 31 divided by two the underboss tree is 31 after chucking those parts i added seam allowance of two inches then i connected the lines so for the shoulder from shoulder to the to the arm o i measured seven inches and i rule it out so from that shoulder again, I measured 4.5 inches. This angle, I measured one in. Then I went there to connect everything. So whatever I have here, the nipple point, I will transfer it to the shoulder line, then add one inch just to make the slope. Now we are done with our upper bodies. This is the front. 
Sorry, that's the back. Now, I went ahead to place the back on the mini fabric to cut the front. And I added one inch allowance to the front. That's because there is opening at the front. And as you can see, there is the opening lapped on each other. So for the neckline, I make use of 2.5 inch inches by one then at the side there i used one inches i came down with one inch for the slope for the shoulder slope the reason for this one inch at first at the neckline is because i cut both front and back bodies neckline together so Having done this, I'll separate the back from the front, then reshape the neckline of the of the front. So for the front, I came down with 2.5 inch inches. and you shaped it again so remember i added one inch extra for the opening that's the part i just notched after that there's a small color there so i used two inches for that so like i said it's a lap on each other beads so I went ahead to add paper stay also to the lining I cut the lining I added paper stay also so I've stitched the down but now for the upper bodies, I first stitched the shoulders together and I did likewise to the lining. After stitching the shoulder, I measured the circumference I have there from the middle of the back to the to where the two inches and you know the now i notched one part there after the lap so now for the color i measured two inches by the length i have at the neckline by the circumference i have at the neckline so this is where it will end. You can see the notched parts. I stitched on it. So I went ahead to stitch the lining on the jacket again. And then this the part that is going to lap on each other like I made mentioned earlier so they will lap on each other now and just stitch the two together at the middle the next thing now is to join the down bodies of the blouse I went ahead to stitch the two to get there. After stitching the back and the front bodies together, the next thing is to fix the zipper. Like I said, it will be fixed at the side. So I've measured the allowance I give for the zipper. And I went ahead to stitch that also. Now I pipe the ammo. Thank you so much and God bless.